Hello and welcome to Sunday Power BI. Today we are going to learn an awesome technique that allows you to create a bar chart displaying values as absolute number and as percentage of total at the same time. Remember, Power BI doesn't have a built-in visual that allows you to create something like that. So we are going to perform this technique in three simple steps. Let's start the video. I have already created the basic measure to calculate total revenue. For percentage, we are going to create another measure using divide and calculate functions. Right click, new measure and we are going to call this measure as revenue percentage divide. We want to divide total revenue by its grand total and for grand total we are going to use calculate function. Calculate total revenue all and since we are going to create this chart for payments therefore we are going to use payment method table. So we have both the measures in front of us for percentage and for absolute values. Now the first step is to select line and state column chart. This chart gives you value for column and value for line. Resize it. Now we will drag the total revenue measure in column values and revenue percentage measure in line value. And since we want to show payment method on x axis, therefore we are going to drag payment method on shared axis. In step 2, we are going to modify this chart. For that, click on format your visual option, close y axis. From the lines option, mark your stroke width 0, line color matching your background color that is white. That's it from the line. In last, we are going to enable data label option. From apply settings to, we will select our first major total revenue. We want to increase the font size of values. Click on values and change the font size from 9 to 15. You can also make any modification of your choice from these options. Now select series revenue percentage. We want to increase the font size of values. Again, select the values and increase the font size to 15. And this time we want to show as percentage. So we are going to select display units, none. Select major revenue percentage from the major tools, apply percentage. Here we go. Now as a last part of this tutorial, insert a slicer. Select top seller in your slicer field. Change the slicer orientation from format your visual option, slicer setting, orientation to horizontal, resize your slicer and now we can see dynamic values and percentage by clicking on slicer. If you like this tutorial, give a thumbs up below. You can also suggest topics for future videos in the comments. See you in the next tutorial.